Hey what's up hello welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma. Today is Saturday so it's our second Saturday in lockdown and I'm gonna film a bit of like a weekend in the life for you guys but it's like eight o'clock and Sage and I are starting our day with a workout as we always do. I'm gonna go downstairs into the garage and do that. I have no idea what we're doing. We did legs yesterday and we were both like dying so I think it's gonna be a bit of upper body today but let's do it. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? We're good. We're both wearing EGS apparel, how cute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we just warmed up and we've decided we're gonna do week 10 Monday from Sarah's Day's ebook number two. So we can't show a whole, whole heat because obviously it's a paid program, we don't want to rip Sarah's Day off. Love you, Susie. We might like change out some of the exercises because our legs are still sore from yesterday, but we'll see how we go. Alright, let's go. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Workout done. My watch says 195 calories. Did you track yours? Yeah. 187. Yeah. So around 190. It was only 25 minutes, which is pretty good. But the sun's out. It was meant to be pouring down with rain today, so we're thinking we might go for a walk. We have returned from our walk. We, we did like a little 5k loop. It took us like an hour. We ended up all going together as well, which is quite nice. Then we came back and had some breakfast and I just showered and washed my hair. I was hoping I could go another day without having to wash it, but it was looking pretty gross. So, clean hair, feeling great. And I'm about to sit and edit, finish editing and upload the video for today. It's already 20 past 11. I kind of don't really know where the day's gone. I'm just hotspotting currently from my phone, but the video upload has 19 minutes left. It is one o'clock as well, so I'm gonna go downstairs and watch the daily press conference, see how many cases there are. I just had a notification to say they're expecting more than 80 today, but there's apparently also leftovers from dinner last night, so I'm gonna go have some of those for lunch as well. Ooh, yum. I've had lunch and I've had an outfit change, also straightened my hair, I haven't done that in a few days, so it was nice just to tidy myself up a little bit. Got changed to some comfier clothes. The night that lockdown was announced, Owen was Owen's moved to Auckland, in case you guys didn't catch that. So I posted the photo on Instagram, it said something along the lines of like, long distance is worth it for you. I was very like, kind of low-key secretive about it, because I wasn't sure how many people that he had told about what was happening. I won't put this in if he doesn't want me to put it in, but super exciting. He has managed to get his dream job at the age of, well, 20 now. He was 19 when he got offered the job. Um, in Auckland. So he's moved to Auckland. He's living with his best friend, which he's loving. Which means he's no longer in Hamilton, which is really sad, but his bedroom and stuff is still set up at his parents' house. And the night that lockdown was announced, I knew that his PlayStation was at his house because he hadn't taken it to Auckland with him. And so I was like, all right. And so I texted him like, hey, do you mind if I have your PlayStation for like lockdown? He's like, no, it's all good. Went around to his place and took his PlayStation. And then while I was there, I took his hoodie. So... That's fine. I am going to practice some guitar because I have to send some videos to my coach for Worship Essentials at church to show that I have been practicing the songs. I have not been practicing the songs, but it's okay because I learned them yesterday. So we're going to do a little bit more practice and then send those videos off um, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully um, it's okay. I didn't bring my guitar back from Hamilton with me because I just did not have room in my car. So I'm using my brother's guitar, but it's all right because I actually prefer his. His strings are a lot nicer than mine. Also, I posted a snippet of this song on my Instagram story last night when I was practicing. And I was thinking like, you know, I put a little box up saying like, who knows this song. I was expecting at least one person to get it. Not many people had an attempt. A lot of people thought it was that song from Camp Rock. But no, it's too good to not believe. If you go to Life Church or Arise Church, I know that you will know this song. But anyway, I need to do some practice and send some videos off to my coach. It is now nearly four o'clock. I literally don't know where the days go to during lockdown. They send it as flyby, but that's okay. Still being productive. I recorded my songs for the guitar thing to send to my coach and I'll put in a clip. I was like recording it and I was doing so good. I was like getting all the chords. I was like nailing it. And then mum walked in and she just walked in and just like stood and I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> Sign one. 
I have this notebook which is really cute, has my initials on it. It's from the Daily Edited if you're curious. Also hashtag gifted because I have to disclose that. It is my prayer journal. Tomorrow we have a Zoom session with everyone in Worship Essentials. So everyone who's like in the like training to be in the band at church. And I was asked by one of the leaders if I would share a little like short devotion, like one to two minutes. And at first I was going to say no because I was a little bit nervous. But I said yes because I knew that I could do it. And so I pushed my shelf push myself. I've pushed myself and come up with something so I want to share it with you guys because I feel like someone will be able to take something on it. He gave me like a bit of a theme and said just something about like leading yourself in lockdown and making sure you're still like you know getting your practice in and things like that. I found a couple of verses so the first one is whatever you do work at it wholeheartedly as though you were doing it for the Lord and not merely for people. So that's Colossians 3.23 and from that I was going to speak about how we're doing what we do. We're doing it for God. We're not doing it for our own personal we're not doing it for pride or anything like that and then the second verse was each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully administering god's grace in its various forms so that's first peter 14. i was going to talk about how god works through us and through our gifts to build his kingdom the overall like, overarching idea is treat this as though you're doing it all for god because at the end of the day that's what we are doing i don't know if you guys or if someone someone might take something from that if you did then there you go i am gonna actually just sit down and relax I haven't done that in a while, so I'm going to sit down and watch a couple YouTube videos. I'm going to watch some Sarah's Day, some Jess and Gabe, and then by the time I'm finished this, I'll probably be time to cook dinner, so... Fantastic. As you can see, it is much later in the day. It is currently 20 to 6. It's getting dark outside. My curtains are shut. I ended up watching like three YouTube videos, but I'm just feeling a little bit like meh at the moment. Like, not sick, like just feeling just lazy. Yeah, I don't know. That The weather kind of sucks. We're in lockdown, I miss Owen, I'm staring at screen all day. But anyway, that's okay, just because I'm feeling like that doesn't mean it's a bad day. I have found a recipe, because in one of the videos I was watching, Jess Conti, she made some oat chocolate chip cookies, and so I found a chocolate chunk oat biscuit recipe, so I might make those after dinner, because they look really, really good. But I was just doing some like admin sort of stuff for EJS Apparel, I'm kind of trying to come up with some ideas of things to bring out for like summertime. And I've done heaps of product development this week and I'm so, so, so excited for some of the things that I'm coming out with. I think you guys are going to love them just secretly. I mean, I can't, I mean, I can tell you what they are, but just for sake of building up suspense, I'm not going to say. I need to start thinking about cooking dinner though, because I am getting quite hungry. Maybe I'll just go do that now. Never mind, mum has beat me to it. Dinner has been consumed and my hair is, uh, quite a look. Sage is in the kitchen. We this morning decided that we miss <laughs> and are craving our chocolate tarts from Fiji. Wow, wow, wee wow. <laughs> so Sage is making chocolate tarts and we're a bit stuck for chocolate, we don't have enough, so we're just using kind of what's left. I am making OT cookies. Batch of cookies have just come out of the oven and they're looking so good. This is the filling for Sage's tarts and she is currently putting together the bases of them. And this is going to steam up but, oh no maybe not, that is the cookies in the oven that have got 10 minutes left. It is 20 past 10, I'm about to wind down and head to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it is Sunday, I was not planning on doing what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna go do it anyway. Mum and I are gonna go for a bike ride. Mum and Dad got e-bikes a couple months ago, and I'm yet to have a go on them, so I'm about to go for a ride around the block. Got my bike riding OOTD on, thought it'd be rude not to wear the bike shorts on the bike, you know? Um, everything's with Lorna Jane if you're curious, but let's go for a bike ride. I would take you guys along with me, but I didn't bring my GoPro back from Hamilton because I did not think that I'd be doing anything adventurous like this, so I'll catch you guys when I return. <laughs> Never mind, it just started raining. So we're gonna have some breakfast and if the rain stopped after breakfast we might go. Made some protein oats, they don't really look super appetizing but it's got banana in there. They added some of this Dose Co chocolate fudge protein, that's really yummy. I got that gifted to me but it's so good. And then I put in some of this maple syrup. Normally I put chocolate chips and stuff in there but we used those for our baking last night so that's fine. And we are back. We ended up getting like, there was like a gap in the rain and so we just went for our bike ride. It was like seven kilometers, it took us like half an hour and it was in the e-bikes and it took me a little bit of getting used to because you kind of start, as soon as you like move the pedals, it's like Phew. I'm like, okay, all right. The weather held off for us, which was great. I had a shower and oh my gosh, I need to show you what I'm wearing. Shorts. I actually have legs. 
I haven't worn shorts in months and I'm loving it. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so it's like nice and humid at the moment, so it's gonna it's probably gonna get colder this afternoon, but you know, while the sun's shining, I'm gonna wear shorts while I can. Everything's from Princess Polly, by the way, and these are my favorite shorts ever. They're called the Gun Barrel City Shorts. This is not sponsored, they were gifted to me, but seriously, I have them in blue and white, and they are my favorite of all time. If you're gonna get them, I don't know if they still sell them, but if you're going to get them, I would suggest sizing down. I'm normally like an 8 or a 10 in like shorts and jeans, but these are a 6 and fit me perfectly. So, there you go. It's like 20 past 11 and church starts at 11.30 on, they stream on like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all those fun things. So, I'm going to watch it on YouTube live stream. I think mum's going to come watch it with me on my laptop. Very grateful that church does put the services online because like for me last year when lockdown started, I'd only been to church twice and so... I was like, oh, like, you know, I've been twice, I'm loving it, now what? And then they started doing it online, and I was like, oh, this is, like, really good. And for me, being so, like, new to my faith, like, I grew up in a Christian home, but, like, to be, like, to go to church myself is, like, a whole different story. And to be able to do it from the comfort of my own home for, like, I think it was, like, six weeks, so good. Just to, like, try and get my head around things, try and understand things in my own time, it was really good. So, if you want to join, obviously... This video will come out and it would have happened, but next week, if you want to join, feel free. You're invited. Wowie. Church is done and that was insane. Like, so good. It was about worship and, like, bringing the atmosphere of worship, which I think is such, like, a good message for this time when we can't gather as a congregation in, like, a place of worship. And it's, like, it's on us. Like, we have to do it in our own time. Yeah, I just thought it was a really good message. So, not very good right now. I decided I'm going to paint my nails. I got gifted some OPI colours last year. I like a good neutral nail, like a white or, like, a blush pink or a nude. We're going for green. I'm doing it now because if, it, if I don't like it, like, I can just take it off. I'm in lockdown. No one's going to see it. So, apart from the thousands of people that are going to watch this video. I don't even bother with the top coat. These are not gonna stay on for long. I'm not a fan. I think that 10 year old Emma would have loved these. 19 year old Emma, not so much. I think what I was thinking with the green was that I was gonna be able to replicate the beautiful green nails that Sarah's day had for her by the hour activewear shoot. Not quite. Not even close. I will, though, give myself credit for the fact that I didn't really go onto my skin. Like, I managed to keep most of it on my nails, which is great. I just realized I need to go start getting some lunch ready because I need to be on a Zoom call in, like, 45 minutes for Worship Essentials, where I'm sharing my little devotion. I have some lunch. Got my notebook with my devotion in it. About to jump on the Zoom, and I'll catch you guys afterwards. I am back in my speaker. <laughs> Yep, there it is. It's just gone three o'clock and the call finished like half an hour ago. So good, like hearing everyone's ideas and people like sharing their thoughts and stuff was so good. This is my social media detox day and I like to spend the time I normally spend on social media doing something that I love to do that I don't normally get the time to do. So today, I am designing my dream house. So I feel like I don't really talk about this much because like I feel like people kind of just feel like what the heck like you know everyone has their dreams like you know as a kid you're like I want to be a firefighter, I want to be a silver fern. Well I wanted to be an architect. I was set on it, I went to Victoria University in Wellington to have a look, decided it wasn't for me, canned that idea but anyway I used to spend hours and hours and hours and hours like you would not believe designing houses as a kid i would have designed probably over 100 houses i used to go like my parents used to take me every weekend to open homes around the area but i haven't done it in a while so i've got my old drawing board out got my old ruler out and i'm gonna design a house i, I want to like you know buy a house and things but like i'm a student so at the moment i'll just i'll just dream make the pinterest boards do the drawings and then someday It'll come to life. Don't know when that day will be, but when it does come, I will have a plan, trust me. Hello, what is the time? Oh my gosh, it's 20 past five. I'll talk you guys through my drawing because if I was watching this and I knew someone had done a drawing and they didn't take the time to show me, I would just, not be happy. It is a two-story place. This is like the ground level. This is the like second story. 
So, first story. We have, I kind of did like a bit of a rough outline of the driveway. Classic 6x6 garage. Then we have a laundry which has a bit of a cupboard. A bathroom here with a shower and a bath. This bathroom, Sam Lau, is my one at the flat. So that's where that inspo came from. Then we have a toilet and then a guest bedroom. Well, I say guest bedroom, that's what I would make it. Then we have an office here which has another storage section. And a lounge area. This is a big fat dining table which I just put there just to show that it's a dining room and then we have a kitchen which I'm not very happy with this area. It's got a scullery because I want a scullery but I don't think that it, adding a scullery just doesn't make it a functional space. I originally had the kitchen down here but then I shifted it up here. Anyway then we have exposed stairs so it's going to have wooden paneling up the sides where those little dotted lines are. Not a very good way of displaying it also that's a storage linen cupboard. So when you walk in the front door you'll see the exposed timber and you walk up the stairs and then you end up on the second floor. So here we have the stairs again so you get the picture. There's a void that goes onto the kitchen so when you're walking up you can see out that way and there'll be like nice big windows and stuff. And then if you come here there's like another separate lounge bedroom there with a wardrobe and bedroom with a wardrobe. These bedrooms are unnecessarily large. This one's like 12 square meters. That is massive for a bedroom. Normally they're like around 9 square meters. And that one's more of like a normal size. Then we have a bathroom here for the upstairs. Well, Basically there's two bedrooms. We have a massive twin head shower and a uh, sink and a uh, toilet. Then we have the master suite so I've put in like a balcony that goes over top of this section here where it's going to have like a round slider that goes out to a garden. So I used that empty space and then made a balcony to go over there so that it also provides shelter for being downstairs. We have the master bedroom with the little seating and bed and whatever and then a his and hers sides of wardrobe and then an uh, ensuite which I'm not very happy with either because it's very it's a lot smaller than I was anticipating. Like you see the shower, that's kind of the idea I wanted here, but that's tiny. But anyway, you get the picture. That's kind of the idea. So who knows? Maybe one day I will build this house and I won't even have to give you a house tour because you'll be a little subscriber and you would have stuck around since this video and you'll just know exactly what I'm talking about. Right? I need to start thinking about dinner because I'm on dinner tonight and we are making spaghetti bolognese. We're making the spaghetti from scratch. So I haven't actually done this since like last lockdown. Dinner didn't quite go as planned, but... We've ended up with the pasta. It was weird. It was yeah. You can you can see it's pasta. I'm sure it'll do the job. We have Sage's vegetarian spag bowl over here, and I'll meet one here. It is like half past eight, and it is time for dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the tarts have taken a whole 24 hours. And it's time to chill out. It might be easiest to eat them out of the thing. It is nearly 10 o'clock and it's the start of a new week tomorrow. Even though every day kind of feels the same at the moment. I'm trying to like keep my weeks as weeks. So going to have an early, oh, early night as if I'm going to work or uni tomorrow. Even though I'm just going to be at home. But I'm here up at 6.30. Sage and I are going to do a workout because she has work tomorrow. So going to try to get my full 8 hours of sleep. Going to aim for the 3 uploads this week. So keep an eye out for those. If you made it this far in the video comment a dog emoji i'm just looking at my soft toy dog that's chilling on my bed stay safe stay well and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> today tomorrow also coming to wow i just glitched i just looked to a very bright light you're alive you didn't stay down didn't get caught out because you rose again because you rose again for life you know what i think i think really go um, as planned but oh sorry